welcome. My name is Peter Vin and welcome to watch my movies. And then we continue. Okay, hello and welcome. And next I am planning to show you that how to replace this Toyota Corolla 2007 to 2013 cars gearbox. And I start to do that. Okay, and then I need this tool for this 12 millimeter socket. The size is 12, 1, 2, and then I insert that my tool in these bolts that are there. And in that way. Okay, and, and there we have this bolt, and there is four pieces of those, and, and socket sides was this 12 millimeter. Okay, and then, then I take those one in there, and two in there away, and then, then we continue. Okay, and then I need to remove this Faster, this uh, faster fluid hose, and it that part opens so that I rotate that in this way, and then this comes in here, and then that one, and then we go to this area. There is small interesting clipper where I take closer view, and there is this clipper and I take closer view and this clipper opens so that, that I take tongs and I press a little bit that and same time I pull in that direction. Little bit press in here and, and then pull and then this part opens nice in here. Okay, and now, now this hose is released and I insert that hose in here. Okay, good. And then I can continue. Okay, and then when I am, when I am planning to take those final bolts away in there, I need to insert that kind of uh, little bit higher wooden part between this bonnet and hood, hood and then this ground area. Next I will show that how this happens. Okay. And now when this part is in there I can go and remove and open this bolts in there. Next. Okay, and now when this wooden higher part is in there, there is bigger gap and that area is easier and now I can insert my hand in here and, and I can easily take this screw and this bolt away because they are all already loosened. And there is this first, the second bolt, and then I go to this next part to take bolts also away in same away in same way. Okay, and bonnet is free, and then I need to take my hand, one hand in here, this front side, and the second hand in here. Okay. 
Okay, and now when this bonnet is away, next part is to start take this plastic covers out. But how to take this plastic covers out in here? And we have these covers in this front area and I start to take those first out. Okay, and now when this bonnet is away, next part is to start take this plastic covers out. But how to take this plastic covers out in here? And we have these covers in this front area and I start to take those first out. Okay, and hello and welcome. And next I like to show that how to remove and replace this Toyota Corolla's battery. And for that job we need 10 mm friends and 10 mm socket. And first I open this landscape so that there is this bolt where this my tool fits and then I only a little bit I loosen this nut so much that this start to move and then when it moves I I can lift up this part in, in here secure place. And it's it's good to insert in some place where it's like hidden. And then this next is this plus cable and there is this cover and I open cover and then then I open this 10 millimeter hole tool and then little bit movement and it's also free I insert that in here and then next part is those this battery support bars these bolts and also 10 millimeter and now I take my shock friends now I take my picker tool and, and Was a little bit that one and then this bolt also and then and this bolt in here and, and this bolt is good to open first there is this bolt but it's a little bit rusty and then when it's free we can go to take that bolt away. And this part opens so that there is a little bit complex position. But let's look. There is idea that I need to move that part in here and then this hook opens. This is the trick. And now this battery is free and, and I can I can lift out this battery in this way. Okay and okay and then next part is to remove and disassemble this battery this bottom area what is in there. And And for that job we need 12 mm socket for fits in here. And, and now we have those bolts that are, are in there. And then when I have take all of these bolts out, we continue. Okay, now all of these bolts are free. And then this part moves nicely in here and then especially this metallic part is free that we can continue our job 
and then there is just in their, their upper there is also one support bar what we need to also remove and, and I take these bolts also away and when these are bolts I continue okay and now these bolts are free there was similar sides bolt and then there is this the support bar what keeps this in right balance okay and thank you for watching and we continue okay hello and welcome and next task is to remove this air filter console and it happens so that that first I need to open this this screw in here and that screw opens in 10 millimeter socket and this bit in here and then when I open that part opens then we can a little bit move that hose okay. and normally this opens okay now now this now this joint is free and this is good and then then next part is to take take out this air airflow sensor and for that job we need screwdriver and actually I need to take this cable out what is this air filter sensor and there is press place and then I press that area and pull out this this fire opens in that way and then then when I continue this air filter control opening there are those cover fasteners that I clip in here in this way and then this other side they are similar in this other side what, what I can open in here and here we have similar what I keep and now when I a little bit move move that console in here in, in that direction it suddenly opens nicely and then we have left this cable and there is a couple of those cable uh, those fasteners and there is this first place in here and this this part opens in that screwdriver in here when I insert that flat side and then a little bit movement and then this this part opens opens nicely. Now it's now it's free and then there is similar similar here. There was this this uh, cable. There was this, this this place where cable was in that hole. And then I can take this cover out. And of course, here we have this 
air filter, what I take also out. Okay, and then then I continue. And then then there is a couple of bolts in this this bottom area, and we need to open those next. Okay, and then there are those bolts in in this bottom area. There is those three bolts, and for that I need 10 millimeter socket. Put it in there, and then then I open all of these bolts. And let's look what kind of bolts we have in here. And there is this kind of special bolt. And then I take that also away. And then this one. moves and then in here here we have this joint and, and then when I little bit move that this this part opens and then there is one place in here of what, what I need to open next one super thing in there. Okay, and then when we look in there, there is one bolt left, what is 10 millimeter, and for that, that I use my socket. There is my tool, and then I, there is this bolt in here, and then I insert my tool in here. Say that this is a little bit, little bit, little bit. and there was that kind of bolt and it goes in there okay now this this console now this console part is free okay and 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 thank you for watching this video